Buhari called police on protesters in London. President Muhammad Buhari has reportedly called police officers in London to prevent Nigerian protesters from gathering in front of the Nigeria House at Trafalgar Square in London, United Kingdom. In a video obtained by Sahara reporters, some peaceful protesters who were demanding Buhari's return to Nigeria were on Thursday evening challenged by the British police. Buhari is in London for medical treatment. After attending the Global Education Summit on Financing Global Partnership for Education 2021 to 2025, the Nigerian president stayed behind to see his doctors, even as resident doctors in his country gave have gone on strike. The police officers were seek were seen speaking with the Nigeria protesters, seemingly persuading them to stop protesting there. Also, more officers were seen arriving in police vans while a Nigeria woman was heard screaming, screaming without fear. The demands of the protesters, which included the president returning to Nigeria and putting an end to the killings in the West African country. A police officer was heard saying, the cameras are on. Someone was sticking out last night. You just got lucky. And when he was asked if he holds, upholds the law, he replied, I am without fear or favor. One of the female protesters said, they are killing in our country. They are killing in our, killing our people. Buari is here with Boris Johnson and I am surprised that Prime Minister will condone such. Condoning corruption and murder, it is terrible. They are killing in our country. Let him just go and resign. Enough of the killings in Nigeria. Where is that done? And he has the audacity to come to this country for health care. He keeps embezzling our money and killing people. That is our story. Muhammad Buhari, the president of Nigeria, is a terrorist and we will not back down. We are not violating the law. It is our civic right and we, we exercise it. That's it. <laughs> Calling them to not to protest. You know, say they, 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 they do pass themselves. According to what we are hearing, they, they do pass themselves because they feel that, uh, you know, you can do and undo. You will intimidate the people at home. Outside again, you still want to intimidate them. People will come and rescue them because you feel you have all the power at home to be able to manipulate and intimidate the people. They are just requesting that you return home and you say they should not do that. The same way that they've made protest a taboo now in Nigeria. Where? Someone said these are jobless people. They should come home and contribute to the challenges, the changes for national development in Nigeria. Okay, you that you are there now, how many contributions have you made? And I always say, the numbers of Nigerians outside Nigeria is, is, is not even up to 5% compared to the people at home. So why is it that the people are always jump to say, oh, and eh, those of you outside the country, come back home and, 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 and do the needful. Why can't you do the needful? You have the numbers as, as we speak. Why can't you do that? You say they are jobless. They are jobless because... You think that uh, they don't have job here. You that you are, you are not jobless. See how things are going on for you. What these protesters are demanding, are they not worth demanding? Are you the one feeding them? I don't understand. Somebody is asking, are you not the one feeding them? Buari, Buari is puppet. They are jobless. Let them come home and protest in Nigeria. It's a wrong strategy. So that they will kill them. Abi, like those they killed at the Lekki Toge, they should come so that they will kill them. Why is it that those of you in Nigeria are not protesting? Why is it that those of us in Nigeria are not protesting? You are waiting for them. You are waiting for them to come and protest for you. Eh? You reason like a toddler. You can protest anywhere and your voice will still be heard and request granted. Why is it that Buhari is bothered? Because, you know, I said it before. People always say, oh, what is the effect of this, uh, their protest in the first place? That it does not have any, it doesn't hold any water. But now, it's affecting them because it's not a good thing. And by the time people begin to look at what is happening, they will not know that, yes, Things are really happening because they are creating an awareness for most, most of the people who are not even aware that are in another country. They are not aware of what is happening in Nigeria. It's an opportunity for them to know. They will not begin to show interest. Really? Is this what is happening in Nigeria? No, let us go and even make an inquiry whether these people are saying the truth. And the whole truth is just there. So it is a world, it is a smaller, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a smaller village that everybody can assess any information at any given time. If you want, if you want, the protest has an impact. Let them ignore it to their own detriment. That it does not matter. Let them come back home. That is the, those are the people working for the government because that is the language they understand. That is the language and terminology they use. Oh, come back home. When somebody is asking, telling somebody that, yeah, 
here is that you are reasoning like a toddler you can protest anyway yes you must not necessarily come home for that it's our duty as an indigenous to protest anywhere police don't have rights to stop anyone from protesting against a rogue the rogue has no shame doctors are on strike the rogue is in london seeking medical jamboree well ambo abo monkey day go for treatment uh, 70 percent slaughtered by fulanis government didn't do anything about it and we say nigeria is safe people can not go to the farm anymore we are a farmer we're a farmer or we are farmer how are we going to succeed fulanis or stray fulanis cow shameless he went to london where health workers have been taken good care of but refuses to pay medical doctors in his own country worry which way nigeria of course no conscience no conscience at all we read the stars but people can't believe us in 2015 namdekano prophesizes for prophesies the mind of muhammad buari for governing nigeria that is to islamize the country through Fulan, Fulani Esme occupation of our land. Why people called him names. Today, what is going on in Nigeria? Ask them all. The funniest part of it is that, or the worst part of it is that, they will not even acknowledge, oh, yes, we were told, oh, we were warned. They will not still acknowledge it. They will still move on as if not everything is fine. That is correct. Kanu and Mrs. Patience Jonathan, wife of former president, warned that people will run from nigeria if worry comes to power but people thought he has been refined he caged kano to nigeria as he created um as he caged umar Diko. oh he created okay he wanted to use a crate umar Diko in 1984 that spirit has not left him let nigeria people in london send him back to home and face his health care in his country please uh please nigerians they should they should disgrace the president in london very very shameful buari is not a serious man he does not have shame he doesn't have shame buari cannot run from death forever leave him to face the wrath of god most wicked leader ever <laughs> they will continue to protest that protest has many you think it does not it does it doesn't it does why is he fidgeting why is he worried why is he sending police to tell them not to protest her, that they run no sense that has been done her home is what you know it, it thought that thought that could happen over there you tell people not to protest you tell, tell people to protest the, the job of the police is for them to watch the protesters and that is it you can't say don't protest